Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, Hey, we're picking up the story of David. We're continuing to talk about him. It's right after he's defeated Goliath, and he is the man in Israel at this point in time. And so King Saul puts David in charge of the battles. He puts him uh, ahead of the men of war, and everywhere David goes, he has success winning battles for King Saul, for the nation of Israel. Uh, Jonathan, who is the prince, uh, he's the, the heir to the throne of Saul, he loves David. They, they form a great friendship, and he says, David, you don't have armor, you don't have weapons, let me give you mine. Because at that point in time, only rich people had weapons and armor because they're the only ones who could afford them. And so Jonathan gave David his, his uh, weapons and armor. And so David goes out, and after many victories on behalf of the nation of Israel, on behalf of King Saul, they came home to victory celebrations. They're they're coming in, there's victory parades, and the women came out singing, Saul has killed his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. Now, it might have been accurate, it might have been truthful, but it also invoked in Saul a very strong feeling. Can you guess what that was? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Saul became jealous of David. And he was so jealous and so angry because uh, also the Holy Spirit had kind of left Saul uh, and uh, that twice he tried to kill David by throwing a spear at him. Like, he saw David across the room and said, I'm just going to take the spear, I'm going to pin David to the wall, I'm going to kill him, and he missed. And so then, since that didn't work, Saul said, I know what I'll do. I'll put David in charge of a thousand men, I'll send him into battle, maybe he'll die in battle. Except his plan didn't work. Verse 14 says... And David had success in all of his undertakings, for the Lord was with him. And when Saul saw that David had great success, he stood in fearful awe of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, for he went out and came in before them. Um, So what's the application for us? What does it mean for us today? Well, here's simply this. Don't be jealous of people who are on your team. By the way, everyone who is a follower of Jesus and who's trying to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, is on our team. So we don't want to be jealous of their success. We don't want to be jealous of their giftedness. We don't want to be jealous uh, of uh, what they're doing for the kingdom of God. Because when you're jealous, you're the one who gets hurt. But, um, and you're going to fail. But if you can celebrate their success, because we're on the same team, it's for the same mission. If you can celebrate their success, God will bless you. So guard your heart. Jealousy will always destroy you and your relationships. And if you want to be like King David, celebrate with people. And if you want to be a failure like King Saul, be jealous. I hope that makes sense, and I hope it blesses you. Have a great day.